Good afternoon. I'm Roy Rice. I'm the Chief of Police for the City of Clovis Police Department. I am glad to see all of you here. About 27 hours ago, we asked all of you to come here and do us a favor. That was to put the word out that we need to find a little girl. We had a 10-month-old Alea missing, and we believe she was in danger. We wanted her found. Well, with all the notifications we got to put out there, the media release we got out there, we were able to do just that. I am proud to say she is safe. She's been at a medical facility being treated. I don't believe she's back with her family yet, but I don't imagine it will be too long. This couldn't be accomplished without the officers you see behind me because there are many, many agencies represented. My agency, the lead agency, Clovis Police Department, the Curry County Sheriff's Office with Sheriff Brockett over here, we have City of Dallas Police Department, Roosevelt County Sheriff's Office, the 9th Judicial District Attorney and his investigators, the City of Roswell Police Department had their crew down here, the New Mexico State Police with various departments and divisions here helping us, the FBI with a complement of officers like I've never seen before. We've had up to 200 people at one time in this facility working on this case. Alliance Search and Rescue with their dogs, and we can't leave out the City of Clovis Police, I mean, excuse me, the City of Clovis Fire and EMS. All these people had an important role to play in this. They all had something to do with trying to get evidence and document the scene so we can determine what happened and who we're looking for and bring some closure to this case. I don't know if the family is here today. I still expect some of the family members here. If they were, I wanted to go ahead and express my condolences. At the same time, assure them we're going to do what we can to wrap this up to give them some closure so they can have some comfort in what we're doing and knowing that we're not just a police department or a law enforcement agency. We're a law enforcement team. We all work together for the better of this nation. And after all, with all the help we've had from the FBI and the state, we're not alone. We're not by ourselves. And we will never be defeated. Through all this finding, we've worked diligently to document the evidence. Uh, Deputy Chief Throne will be talking about some of the investigation that was used, some of the things that were found. But believe me, without these people standing behind us, and I'm talking about the ones standing up on the podium behind us, this would not be possible. We have people all coming out of the woodwork, volunteering. We had officers spending many, many hours of work, not sleep. They didn't go to proms, they didn't go to birthday parties, they didn't go to weddings. They were out here trying to find this little girl. And because of that, we can be successful in her report today. Our thoughts and prayers are still for the five-year-old that's in the hospital. We're hoping and praying that she will be fine and be released back to her family soon, too. Now, I know you have a lot of questions, but right now we're not taking questions. But I think when you listen to Deputy Chief Throne, he's going to answer some of your questions. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Rice. So good afternoon. My name is Trevor Throne. I'm the Deputy Chief with the Clovis Police Department. Today I stand before you with a mix of sorrow and relief to share the latest updates on this tragic events that unfolded on May 3rd. Again, we'd like to extend our condolences to the families and loved ones of Taryn Allen and Harley Cincinnatus. Our community and law enforcement, our community and law enforcement families mourn with you, and you are in our thoughts and prayers. As the Chief has already mentioned, Alea Maria Torres has been found, and she is currently recovering at a uh, hospital with minor, uh, she's currently recovering at a hospital. Um, no injuries or anything like that were reported. The suspect who was taken into custody was identified as Alec Isaiah Collins, a 26 year old from the Houston, Texas area. Collins is currently in custody uh, of the FBI and our law enforcement partners in Abilene, Texas. Through our investigation, we suspect he is staying 
We suspect he was staying at a residence in Abilene, Texas. Police officers and FBI agents were dispatched to that location where he was observed to be at and subsequently was arrested and Alea was rescued and is in good health. I know that one of the questions that has been asked is, was the suspect related to the victims? At this time, we do not think so and haven't found any evidence of it, but are still following leads about the suspect and his motives on this heinous crime. In a few minutes, I'll defer to Quentin Ray, the district attorney for the 9th Judicial District here in New Mexico, who will speak about the charges against Colin. I'd like to remind everyone that our investigation remains active. Even though we have the suspect in custody, there is still a lot of work that has to be done. Our teams of professionals have been working tirelessly trying to piece everything together, including identifying the motive, processing evidence, and documenting. At this time, I'm going to pass it over to District Attorney Quentin Ray, who will give you some more information. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, in a case like this, the district attorney's role is uh, limited to just what, what are the charges going to be, what is that going to look like. Um, I have been working with, uh, or my, the Ninth Judicial uh, District Attorney's Major Crime Unit has been working with the Clovis Police Department and all these agencies, including the FBI. Um, from the state side, the, uh, I have approved charges for two open counts of first-degree murder, um, first-degree kidnapping charge, as well as uh, two counts of child abuse. Um, how that will play out with the federal charges and the state charges, we don't know yet. But from our standpoint, um, we just want to make sure that he, the person that's is held accountable for his actions. Um, I believe we had... Uh, Chief, you, wanna, you still want to talk? No, no, no I'm good. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to turn it over to the FBI here. This is Raul uh, Buhanda. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Raul Buhanda, especially in charge of the FBI for the state of New Mexico. And what that means is that I care about the state of New Mexico. I care about Clovis. And I want to say thank you, Clovis, for opening the doors and welcoming all of my team and everyone you see here behind you. These men and women, even if we wanted to, we couldn't send them home. They were committed to getting this job done. And we're not done yet. We want to make sure that this case is rock solid. We want to make sure that this suspect pays for all the heartache that we're all feeling today. It's one of those things that when we recovered Alea, you take a big sigh of relief because you're happy because she's back. And at that same moment, you feel the pain of the souls that we have already lost. And if that doesn't get you here, then I don't know what does. We want to make sure that this suspect and since it is an ongoing investigation, we don't want to close it off if there was any other potential leads that we haven't followed up on. We want to make sure that the person responsible for this case was a crime. Obviously, this person wouldn't be in custody if it wasn't for all the hard work that was done by these men and women behind me. Putting this case together, reaching out. This person was not apprehended here in New Mexico. They were apprehended in Texas. So we had to make sure that not only were we working well together as a team here in New Mexico, but we were working as a team throughout the United States. As the FBI, we follow all investigations, whether they go anywhere nationally, but also internationally, and we were prepared to do that. We were lucky that they only went one state away. We were lucky that we were able to reach out to our friends and partners in Abilene and my friends in the FBI in Texas. And as quickly as I told them what it is that we were dealing with, got your bottom dollar, they were right there. And we were talking to them late last night, and it was a matter of commute time, where they were sitting there in Abilene, following up on the leads that we had sent them, to do everything that we possibly can to finish this for us, because that's what we wanted done. Our own people 
And I'm okay to say that. All people from New Mexico went to Texas. Because, God, God darn it, this, this means something to us. We're going to be there. We might have left our state, but you didn't leave the long reach of law enforcement. So we won't, hopefully we answered all of your questions, so we won't be taking any questions at this time. Because this is an ongoing investigation. But just like we iterated yesterday, and I'll go ahead and reiterate today, if you see, especially now that you've seen the photograph of the, sub, of the suspect, Alec Collins, call the number that I provided yesterday, and I'll say it again, 575-763-9472, or you can always call us at 1-800-CALL-FBI. I'll say that number again, 575-763-9472. That's the number directly that comes here, Clovis Police Department. They're expecting and waiting for your calls. You can always reach out to us at 100-CALL-FBI and just reference the Clovis investigation. And those leads will come to us in New Mexico, not somewhere else. We will continue to mourn because I think we have some time now to mourn. But we will continue to do our part to investigate, to make sure that this person pays for the crime they committed and doesn't harm anyone else in New Mexico or anywhere else in this great country of ours. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much for your attention. Thank you for coming. That does conclude our conference today. And just so you all know, we could provide that photo to you guys um, after this conference. Okay? Okay. Yes, sir.